was specifically for Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. I love it. It's got a little uh, little side compartment for his cheese. What is this little device here? I already still recording the analog. This is what you're calling the sound dog box. Welcome to the latest Ursa exclusive. I'm here with Stefan Boucher. Hi, Simon. He's a French sound recordist based in Paris, and Stefan's in the UK at the moment prepping for Napoleon, which is a Ridley Scott movie, which you start... Next week? Next week. Yeah, last, the last day of prep. So, last day of prep, they very kindly invited us to their prep room where we're going to have an exclusive look around mm -hmm. the kit they've been setting up for this massive project. It's a massive project, actually. Yeah, three months and a half, I think, yeah. if I remember well. Well, we're going to start on Monday, yeah. So large cast numbers, complicated locations. We have Joachim Phoenix uh, for Napoleon, Vanessa Kirby for Josephine, yes, and large, large cast, especially battles. Yeah, a lot of things. Four hundred extras and three hundred horses. Yeah, Malta, uh, UK, London, yeah, yeah London, and Morocco, like okay. different places. So the beginning of a massive journey. And the prep is the most important time, isn't it? When you're really getting everything yeah. ready. So you are, especially for someone like Rid Ripley, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need to be ready for everything, yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So can we briefly have a quick look around yeah, and then we go into some details. So the trolley. Yeah. So the trolley, this is my main cart, my uh -huh. trolley. Uh, that trolley I'm going to use, well, uh, not on set actually, but on the video village. I mm. will stay beside Willie. Yeah. This is uh, the Dante cart with all the receivers and the backup uh, system and we will stay on the set with this one. Right. And we will go uh, through Dante from that cart to the main cart. Mm. Uh, but we're gonna come back later and okay. talk more specifically about the setup. And well, we have some photo cards and cases with IFBs, cable, cozy. Mm. Um, here we have a beautiful Hadicam yeah. um, trolley um, Magliner and with a lot of different drums. Well, here is one part of my crew actually, one guy is missing, but this is Joss. This is first boom Joss coming with me from Paris. And we have Luke, trainee, trainee from UK, and we have Stefan from UK. This is the second first boom actually, so we're going to have two first boom and we have also Tom. Tom is not here but it's gonna come later, mm. who, which he will be second boom. They're just here prepping uh, the uh, wireless case and they're prepping the uh, small kits. We have the, here the main case for all the uh, wireless stuff. Yeah. Uh, Ursa, Ursa stuff, <laughs> a lot, a lot of different belts. Consumables, uh, sticky consumable, stuff. sticky yeah. stuff, things, and a couple here of cases also with the expandables and uh, cables. And we have also here the, um, um, the Phonak, yeah, Phonak system with uh, two Phonaks. This little follow cart, which is a sound cart follow, Maverick, this mm -hmm. is the name of, of the Maverick. So that goes on set actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is more about my assistant stuff. We will talk about this later also. But well, this is basically the space for the place for the mics, mm. cables, everything that we need to go mm. to have on set. And we have also the boom poles. Yeah. That goes in the side of the set, actually, and that goes directly on the set, which is a sort of uh, stand special, mm. really light and really mobile, you know. Yeah, it's a great so it, box. It's really, it's, really, yeah. um, it's really funny because this is French version, uh -huh. this is UK version. Yeah, it's massive. So, <laughs> you know, it's like... So, but uh, is well, it Stefan's or is this yours? Yeah, it's Stefan's. Uh, oh, so it's, uh, but I love it. it's got a little uh, little side compartment for his well, cheese. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> so I see you've got a selection of different microphones here: Sherps yeah. and Sennheisers, MK forty ones and and fifties uh, from Sennheiser. Yes. So yes. they're slightly different sounding microphones. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but both of them have quite good rejection on the sides, but generally they're quite, they, 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 they still hear a little bit of, of, of sound from the sides, but mm. 
And what, is, what are your decision making when it comes to what mic to use in what situation? What sort of drives you? I'm more uh, trying to think about what we want to to tell to the audience yeah. about the choice of the mic and the kind of sound we want to see. For example, for Taken with Liam Neeson, I wanted to have a big, big, low voice, you know? Yeah. Like, this is just a badass guy, yeah. and I needed to sound... I wanted to sit on the theater and to have, wow, the, the big sound from Liam Neeson. He had a yeah. very big voice. So straight away, I was thinking about the 50, yeah. like, really low frequencies, yeah. and uh, so we used the 50 for, for his, his voice. Uh, yeah. uh, all the time, even outside, you yeah. know. Yeah. So this is the kind of choice I've, I, I'm making for deciding which And it would go camera. inside a piano outside? Absolutely, yeah. it's going to go with the uh, outside wind protections. Mm. And, but, well, all the time the same mic for the same mm. actor. The only time I was doing a little bit tricky things was like for Lucy with Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. I decided to use the shops specifically for Scarlett Johansson yeah. and then for the other actors on 50 because I right. wanted Scarlett Johansson to have yeah. a more, well, high frequencies voice, you know, mm -hmm. she's really different. Mm -hmm. uh, the story was about someone that is just becoming some, someone totally different, you know, mm -hmm. not human actually. Yeah. And so only for Scarlett, this one, yeah. for the other actors, this one, mm -hmm. so two booms. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. So, that was the so choosing a mic is more about what we want to tell to the audience mm. about the way we're picking up the sound. You know, mm. like they they we, I just try to help the director to tell a story. Mm. You know, about my contribution. You know, with my contribution. And um, wherever possible, I notice you've you've got the looms and the drums and the cables to make it possible to go to go on a cable. Is that something you've managed to achieve? Mostly yes. on your jobs to, to, to stay, despite all yes. those difficulties, because there are so many extra challenges. So, exactly. So we're trying to make this like the easier way, easiest way, yeah. you know. And I, it's not easy yeah. at all, especially when you're running on a four camera show yeah. like this one. You know, it's, it's we're going to use minimum four cameras. So. Yeah. But the thing is that for that reason, we're using big drums yeah. with uh, multiple different channel. You run one the, drum out to set and then you've got the cables for ins and cable. outs. Yeah. And I can also plug the three-way mics. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is three mono microphones. So it's not like an MNS no. when you get these slightly awkward MNS mics. So it's three mono microphones pointing in different directions. Yes, uh, Sennheiser, the 80 series. Yeah. So uh, it's really, really, I think, one of the best system for stereo ambience mm -hmm. or crowds extras mm -hmm. you know like only uh, you we are only using this for ambience mm -hmm. and some of the time we're using this with a different recorder oh, yeah. just to be really portable mm -hmm. and really it's just a up and go for last yeah. jewel for example yeah. uh, we used because it was just not possible we were mm -hmm. following mac damon mm -hmm. on the horses mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, um, walking into the sort of village with with i don't know 100 different extras yeah. and that was just a 50 meters a shot yeah. so impossible to use cables yeah. and to get the crowds uh, shouting and yeah. you know yeah. like so we needed to follow all the way through impossible yeah. to use cables mm -hmm. so two solution the uh, this system yeah. portable system Let's or look, wireless so it, it, so, yeah. so the portable system well it's all about the quality of the sound all the time. Yeah. So, so uh, this is the Mix Pre from mm -hmm. Sound Device. Really good preamps, really, mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. good preamps, especially the last version of, of this recorder. So it's really portable, really light, yeah. and it's cool because it's all sort of separate tracks. So I'm gonna send this in a separate folder to the mm -hmm. post, and it's just for ambience. Cool, that's really great. Yeah. To get to get to be able to have the freedom to use that more remotely uh, is is awesome. So, can we have a little look see through some of the shelves in this so we yes. can see what your so we can see here the, the A10s. So yeah, the A10s. I am using. Uh, I decided to use this transmitter because well, first of all, it's a really good quality. Yeah. I like the quality yeah. of the sound of these ones. And second, they are recording also. Yeah. So we have a mini SD card inside that can record as soon as I want. Yeah. And, and uh, we can 
and we have the app on the phone. Yeah. And so basically what is happening is that I am also using these ones on the actors, mm -hmm. not only for the booms. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we are starting a scene and the first shot and I can see that it might be possible that the actor will go out of range, yeah. Well, I we're doing one uh, take, and then I said to my guys, "Okay, guys, let's push record, yeah. just in case, yeah. actually." And then, well, it's it's just a backup, yeah. you know, just if the actors are going out of range. What happened on Gucci, also House of Gucci, is that suddenly Ridley say, "Oh, let's put a camera inside the car, and then when we finish, the guy, the actor go inside the car and leaving right. the set." <laughs> and I was just, "Okay, let's shoot," and I was just, "Okay, not a problem." I'm gonna be out of range for sure. Yeah. So we put this, push record, my boom up go into the car yeah. and the car left and he was recording. Yeah. That's it. And yeah. we got with the sound. So no stress. Yeah. You know? Amazing. Yeah. That's so great. about the follow court, this sound court, Maverick. So I, I'm always try to involve the first the, my key boom. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want him to be totally comfortable about the equipment and the way. The, the cases are full of different stuff, you know. So he just decided how to organize this mm -hmm. and what to make on every cases, mm -hmm. the, the way he wanted, mm -hmm. and the label and everything. So because, well, I just want them to be totally happy about mm -hmm. the way it works, you know. Yeah. So just, I don't even know what you put inside. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, on, on the top we, we got um, mostly um, cable for um, A10 or micro SD or uh, if we need spare to, to use a transmitter or, or receiver from um, Sennheiser. Mm. Uh, on the second one, we, we just have batteries, empty and full one. So can you tell me about these Vartas, because you use these Vartas ones in the A10s on on the booms and on uh, and these seem to be a really good brand of rechargeable battery. Right? Yeah, uh, I, uh, we we did some tests to yeah. uh, just to see the difference between um, because we we got Lada also from oh, Lada, IKEA yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and we did some tests and we we were pretty sure that between uh, we 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 have one hour more uh, wow. using. Um, using Varta inside um, Audio Limited. Mm -hmm. That's why it's, it's better to use Varta in this one, just in case mm. uh, we have no, no time to change mm. the battery. Yeah. That's why we manage, uh, mostly we use LADA on transmitter um, mm -hmm. or on IFB, yeah. and Varta for transmitter oh, okay. from Audio Limited. Yeah, nice. Third on, on this, yeah. On the third one, we, I mean, they're outside, but we, we will have the mic and we, we, we have an extra space just to put uh, uh, some extra foam or windshield. Mm. So this is the cozies. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're cozy. Yeah, too. and, and also the, uh, uh, this is a Leonard made oh, by yeah. Cinera. Yeah. Uh, it's for MKH50. On the last one, it's just just right. cables and uh, and uh, oh and, shoe and, covers, and, yeah. yeah, exactly. Heels. That's another big one, isn't it? Just managing mm. shoes, softening soles, reducing noise. Colors and the size and well, yes, it's always like well, let's try it. But uh, yeah. if it's not possible to put any carpets yeah. or something, well, we need to find a solution, and that's yeah. well mainly the solution. So it's great. So you've got your you've got your boom operators kit on set on this trolley. Shall we have a quick look at the radio mic systems yeah. you've got set up in the boxes for those? So we we have the big big case for all the uh, transmitter. They're here actually. We have 16 A10s. So Finally. and we have also two A20. Uh, and well, here basically this is the big version, so you have all the, the, the different belts, a lot of URSA stuff actually. Uh, we have also the accessories. Uh, well, basically we have everything we can need. We, can we have a little look inside the, that top yeah, box Joss, there? Joff, if, if, so this is more Joss also yeah. stuff, you know? <laughs> so can we have a look? Yeah, for sure. Uh, actually, we built uh, two two cases just to 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 be sure to have um, in the big one uh, to have a lot of uh, 
of transmitter if we need more than 10 trans mm -hmm. transmitter at the same time. And this one is a small one. Yes, and, light, uh, light version, yeah. Yeah, and we can handle up to 10 transmitter also with a A20 and a A10 just here. Mm. Oh, wow, okay. So you've got you've got the transmitters. So does Stefan go on to to the costume in the morning with, with this box? Oh, yeah. oh, you mean you mean? Oh, sorry, you need Stefan second Stefan. Yeah, second, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, first, yeah. first, <laughs> first Stefan. <laughs> yeah, Stefan is going uh, basically on the unit base with mm. this one, which is a little bit more light. Uh, first of all, we decided the first thing we do in the morning. We decided well which actor on which mm -hmm. different transmitters. Yeah. So Napoleon, for example, on number three, and then we have Paul Barra on number four, and then also we say oh because Napoleon will finish at the midday, so it will be transmitter will become for. Duke, so we put also Duke here mm. on the left, just to be sure that we already know who's gonna have what kind of transmitter and, uh, and which mm. number. So yeah, this is the light version, and Stefan will go on the unit best with this one, basically. Cool. If we need every morning also, if we need to add some more stuff, we coming on this one and put a little bit more right. stuff on that one, that one, so. Yeah. So you've got basically all the different kinds of mounts you might ever need for microphones. I see the bubble bee, con bubble bee um, concealers and foamies, tape, yes. white coat stickies. Well, basically we have really everything, <laughs> yeah. really basically. Uh, so DPA stuff, we have oh, bubble bees. We have also, this is uh, from Rykot. To, yes, they're sticking really good, these ones. Oh. Yeah. So it's really good. Yeah, also because we wanted to go to costume de department and just ask them what would be the best uh, to, to fit the, the different materials. That's why we wanted to have everything in one box, just to let them know that we could do everything they mm. want. Actually, it's, yeah, sometimes you, you, you are in the costume department and they say, don't you have the thing that I had on the last movie, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we have, we, because basically we have yeah. almost everything that you can find on the market, cool. yeah, so. So you've got fur with sticky tape on the back, all the DPAs, different DPAs. These yeah, are 60, we are always 60s. mainly mainly DPAs, yeah. so 4060, 4061, yeah, and 6060. So uh, basically, we pre-rig yeah. a couple of these ones, and uh, well, a few sign because cans also. Yeah. You know, it's always have a sign can. It's important. We never yeah. know. But mainly, I like the way it sounds the uh, DPAs. It's, mm. I think it's one of the best mic yeah. ever. Uh, so I really like DPAs since the long, long since long, long time. Mm. So I'm always use these yeah. these mics for sure. Yeah. And what else have we got in the radio mic box that's useful for you guys? So we have a couple of uh, belts, uh, so maybe just the way you, you yeah. put in the pouch, so you have, I think it's it's because of the difference of the uh, the different size, right? Like large and... Yeah, exactly. We, 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 uh, actually, it's only Ursa belt, actually. Uh, One Ursa, really? Yeah, only, <laughs> only Ursa. Good. <laughs> Just because I think uh, they are the best to fit uh, every every kind of of part of the body, so we decided to bought absolutely everything you got. So we got tight tight yeah, strap, nice. large waist, mm -hmm. extra large waist, mm -hmm. ankle strap, um, medium waist. Yeah. Um, we um, yeah chest strap. Chest, uh, yeah. yeah, exactly, pooch protector mm -hmm. and calf strap. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, nice. and of course the small waist. Yeah. J just to be sure that we would handle uh, every on uh, everybody's it mm. would it would it would mm. fit. So all the different kinds of things you need here, and what what's happening on this on this table? Yeah. So on this table they are just prepping different things. Actually, this is, I want to introduce Tom Tom Wilkin, which is the second boom UK, and basically his. Looking here on the big spray, we yeah. just saw because he's gonna be the guy who's gonna have the yeah. triple way boom, triple mic. Oh, right, okay. Triple <laughs> mic boom, and he's, he's just checking this because yeah. the next week we're gonna have a scene with mm -hmm. the couple of crowds and extras uh, shouting and crying and whatever, yeah. so he's gonna use this. So, good luck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're using actually something that is really, really useful. This is an adapter uh, from um, Audio Limited. Yeah. So 
that little boxes will go with Stefan, which will be oh, able yeah. to check about every wireless mics. So if it's gonna cra uh, have some little uh, yeah. cratchy sound yeah. or creaky or so whatever. So he's offset and so, he can listen to yeah, it. Yeah, so it's a amazing. special receiver just for him. Yeah. So he basically he's gonna put yeah. the wire and as soon as it's and okay, he'll be hearing. he have his <laughs> special preamps here so he can adjust the level yeah. and then he can try if it's working or not. Uh, he can switch between two receiver, yeah. so he's doing one actor and then he switched to the channel number two here with the button and go to the other actor and just to check I've how I've never it, seen how that. How what is this little device here? Is that a special... Uh, this is special, belt? this is I think a 3D thing yeah. that All they right. designed it yeah. like uh, like only a few months ago and I was really interesting about looking for a kind of device like this yeah. to be sure that Stefan will be totally comfortable to be sure that it's gonna work because yeah, sometimes yeah. you just put like the mic and you say hopefully yeah. it's gonna be fine yeah. so there's no space for hopefully on no. relay <laughs> so it's just like we put the mic and it has to work mm. so we just mm. uh, using Stefan will use this yeah. kind of uh, small personal receiver this mm. is what we can call the personal it's receiver. Awesome. Say, awesome. Same for the A20s. Yeah. I think that that's the next move with Napoleon. We're going to use mostly these ones for hats. Uh -huh. Napoleon is the famous oh, hats, yes, you know. So we did a couple of tests, mm. especially yesterday, and uh, you've already seen that we tried yeah. the different <laughs> hats. Velcro. So Velcro. It's a, this must be a massive challenge with, with, with Ripley, where he has to, he he's got so much surrounding him, he must yeah. have such a big setup that you need to be able to, for him to hear the audio, for you to be able to communicate with him, but for you to also have incredibly good range onto set. How do you, how do you get, how do you achieve range while still sort of staying Yes, really is, of course, staying on the video village. You yeah. have a personal trailer. Yeah. It's a big one. So you have four big monitors, like 65 inch monitors, four right. of them. And then you have a lot of uh, normal size monitors. So it's big, big setup. Uh, beside Relis, you have the first tent, which is the DIT uh, with a lot of different uh, yeah. uh, gears. And then you have Rob. Rob is the uh, video village guy for playback and recording yeah. stuff, videos. And then beside Rob, you have me. And yeah. then beside me, you have producer tent. And then so it's a big, big. That, for example, that room is, yeah, more or less what we need for just having the video village. Mm -hmm. So. Basically, it's impossible to stay close from the set because we yeah. need too much space. You, you know? need to be close so to him. So for that reason, we needed to use this Dante cart, yeah. which will be close to the set. Right. And then I can have uh, this antenna. So your, your aerials are close to set. Exactly, just yeah. to, to be sure that, yeah. well, I can have the signal. So let's have a little look around the front of here just, just yeah. to see how this runs. So we're getting here into really the meat of the kit where, so all of your booms and radio mics will be coming through the eight, the two A10 racks you have here, right? Yes. So and as this is a recorder as well on this unit. You know. This is the backup recorder, triple right. eight. So the concept is that, again, this is going on set, mm. okay? So uh, this is the first, we have two racks. Actually, we're using these receiver, uh, they're not here because we're using and doing some tests yeah. for the second uh, unit, uh, which will be the handheld um, oh, okay. the handheld uh, system. Uh, so we basically gonna have eight receiver, which means 16 mm. uh, transmitter. Uh, so the concept is that that goes directly to my main card uh, mm. with the Dante technology. Mm. Uh, but for backup, I wanted the backup here because I want the analog outputs directly coming in to the triple eight. So that case, if something is happening with the Dante, yeah. if, uh, if the network is just shutting yeah. down, yeah. I already still recording with mm. analog mm. into the triple uh, A yeah. system. So the other good thing is that I'm gonna need to have some transmitter IFB on set. Yeah. So the good thing with Dante is that I can go from that card to my main card, but also from my main card to here, which is yeah. a double way. 
system, the Dante. You're sending signals to this as well as back to you. Exactly. Through, through this Dante, which is like a Cat5 cable, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it's a, a Cat5 cable. Yeah, it's a, actually a Cat5 cable. So if you want to look at it, this is yeah. what a Nutrick and inside it's like a Ethernet cable, you yeah, know, yeah. like a, a Cat5 actually. And it's really strong mm -hmm. and as soon as you plug it in, it's completely protected by from dust D or anything. How does, how does it react to like being over a noisy header cable or a lot of electricity? Absolutely no, work, no oh, problem. Good. And the good thing also, and for that reason we're having mm -hmm. a lot of different drums, yeah. is that we can go up to 100 meters. So this is the maximum that we can have with Dante. And this is one of the drum. So it's a 100 meter drum with the Cat5 mm. inside. Mm. And for it to be more practical, this yeah. is the backup one. And we always have a Cat5 here yeah. ready to go. Mm -hmm. So that means that you're going with the cart by yourself on set and you yeah. can easily take it from here yeah. and running the cable until to my, yeah. until my cart, go yeah. straight to my cart. So it's really, really strong. But I like analog, I mm. like the boom on cable. Mm. So I also need uh, to have like the real the big cable coming from my cart to the set. Yeah. For that reason, we're using a big drum here that is a 100 meter drum. Oh, this with, one here, yeah, the eight way. Eight, yeah. eight different channels. So that goes uh, from my main cart yeah. to the set beside the Dante mm. because I want to run, if possible, with analog boom like yeah. the other way. <laughs> yeah. Still. Uh, so we just go put this one close to the set yeah. and the boom guy, boom one and two, just plug it in mm -hmm. and, 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 then, yeah. and then I have the, well, the old way yeah. miking, you yeah. know, and you booming. Can, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. So you've got the quality of a, a cable. This um, is important for and, me, and yes. And you don't have to run five or, you know, different exactly. cables. There's always such a pain with running cables. If this is cables. too big, then we have different versions. We have here, the version with f only four channels, mm -hmm. more light, we don't need yeah. the big one, let's take this one. If we need only two channel, let's go for this one, which is yeah. only two channel, okay. more light, more practical. Yeah. And if not, if, 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 if we just have <laughs> single ones. Yeah. So yeah. basically we have everything, mm. every possible. So. Can we talk a little bit of like how you set yourself up ergonomically on your trolley and what it is that you, you see when you're working? What is you focusing on? Yeah, so mainly I'm focusing about, well, the actor, the dialogue, the way it sounds, especially yeah. the quality of the sound of the boom and the quality, of course, of the laughs. Yeah. So what, that's why I do not have a lot of stuff here. Yeah. I just want to focus about what I'm hearing. So. Yeah. What I'm using basically on my main card is the contar, which is the center of the system, mm. well, the brain of the mm. system. Basically, you can do everything you want with the contar. Yeah. Well, uh, eight outputs, uh, I don't know how many inputs, but because of the Dante, now I have like probably 48 inputs, including the Dante, of course. So a lot of different things that you can mm. do with this machine and it's totally independent, which is mm. really important for me, independent in uh, power wise. Mm. I have batteries, I'm running on batteries. Actually, I didn't told you, yeah, but the, these, these yeah. two big 256 uh, watts uh, per hour yeah. are uh, just... So you don't need mains power to never, run this? Never, I don't this want just, yeah. yeah. I just want to be independent yeah, for sure all yeah. the time, just mm. to run and go mm. and turn it on and it's working. Mm -hmm. No need to wait about one electric or spark sky yeah, to yeah. give you power, you know. Yeah. Just I just need to go by on my own, mm -hmm. just t totally mm. independent. And that goes up to eight hours. So I'm good. Wow, yeah. And then as soon as we finish, we switch with yeah. some other batteries yeah. and then we are up to go. So same I, for this one. What I really liked is when you sh explained so some your shows, especially in Napoleon, you're going to have like five, six cameras all running at once. So, so we're going to have four, ca four cameras all the time. This is four. the relay system. Yeah. Four camera all the time. That's for sure. For that four reason, cameras. we can see here A, B, C, D, which is a quad. 
uh, a quad um, picture about yeah. the different full camera. This is map for the QTech app. Yeah, QTech. Uh, but usually what I'm doing is that I have here sometimes, I mean, more. 50% of the time we're using five cameras. Mm. So the A camera will go here because this is the most important one, whale, the A camera. And I'm gonna have a quad here for the mm. other fourth uh, mm. camera. So five camera on this one. And for the battle scene action, we go up to 10 cameras. Yeah. So 10 cameras, so I can have four more cameras here. From so basically I have yeah. nine cameras, so yeah. I miss one. Well, yeah. that's it. <laughs> But um, I have, yeah, I can, I can watch like, uh, yeah, eight different cameras at the same time you know, in the kit, which Amazing. is important because a couple of things are different are happening on different mm -hmm. cameras, so I need to see what's going on, mm -hmm. you know, on, on the cameras. And I noticed um, for, for when it comes to communication over such a big distance and when you're on set and say Ridley has a demo, has, says, I need them to hear my voice on set or I need a voice of God suddenly, what kind of systems do you have for kind of supporting ADs and directors needs? We have a, a really small playback system, really easy, mm -hmm. that go, say it's totally independent, mm -hmm. it not, it's not gonna go through my kit. Mm -hmm. So it's not a key and H uh, uh, little speaker. Uh, he have an NP1 power here, yeah. so you can plug that in. Yeah, so and okay. then you have on the same, into the same box, you can find here a playback receiver, which I'm call, mm -hmm. calling playback receiver. So if mm -hmm. I need to play back a music or something, I just plug it in and just play back wireless. So this can go really close by to the cast on set, maybe play in telephone play noise Playback, telephone director. noise, yeah. different things. Very light, very mm -hmm. practical. And also it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't take space. It's just mm -hmm. really, really small. So this is the yeah. kind of thing I like, yes. And uh, is there a voice of God that can connect to this as well? Yeah, and then we have this voice of, voice of God system, which is really, really practical. So we're using a Sennheiser. So this is the SK series mm -hmm. with a, this beautiful button that I like that you can, because it's not all the way on. Yeah. So it's a push to talk system, yeah. basically. So just pushing and then the, the guy's talking and then just leave. Uh, the button uh, and make this off and then directly you have the, the, tr the receiver mm. only for this one mm. so same just putting the receiver right. here a bunch of batteries and plug it in and that's very yeah. easy no, very independent practical independent from yourself this doesn't totally need to go to independent you, yeah. again yeah that's yeah. my concept a to decent, be independent decent receiver as well that's not going to break up <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely uh, no really we have a, a good range yeah yeah Visicom system is really really good nice. also yeah I saw you have an IFB box. Can we have a quick look yeah, in there of as well? So, <clears throat> so for the IFB box here, so we're gonna have four different transmitter on set. Mm -hmm. So the concept is we will have on set. The first transmitter is for well the crew, the main transmitter. Yeah which will be my mix, basically. Mm. The second transmitter will be for the guys, for my guys, the boom. So it's a sort of private line. And then we go to the video village, which will, is, will be 100 meters yeah. away. So then we have another transmitter, which is the Ridley transmitter. Right. Uh, so Ridley, uh, he, he, well, he's basically, he is listening to the, to the sound with a real speaker because he likes to have the real speaker. Mm -hmm. So if, for example, the video, vi video village is too close from the set, I can hear the speaker yeah. so loud, you know? So I ask him, please really use your, uh, your headset so it's mm -hmm. here. And these, that headset will be connected directly to the third transmitter, which is really transmitter. Mm -hmm. And that specific uh, transmitter is also having delay because, well, the picture coming out from the camera is going through DIT yeah. and playback and all the things. So yeah. it's, it's practically half a second delay. It's a lot, it's a lot. So that delay, uh, well, 
this is video village who managed to put the mm. right delay. But so the transmitter number two, three, sorry, is with Rob, video village, playback. So third. And fourth transmitter is for producers. Uh -huh. And the producers are on the video village, the same, mm. but no processed. Live. I mean, this is live. Okay. So they have their own. Yeah. They also use uh, the small uh, iPad or mm. iPhone mm. and with the QTEC and we, we, we have some um, mm. here, HIPPOTS actually. Yeah. So, so they, they sometimes listen back just playback listen on playback the on the iPads. Yeah. And, and, and things. That's interesting. So you've, so you've got a transmitter for the public, for the, for the, for the crew, say yeah. a script supervisor or an AD on set, yeah. because they're so far away from where you because are of the, with Ridley. Uh, yeah, exactly, because of the range. You need two different public transmitters. Absolutely, yeah. because yeah. there's no other way. I mm. mean, uh, uh, it's too far, really. And I, I, I like the, the idea that they're separate, mm -hmm. so then I can send different kind of yeah. stuff also if yeah. we need. For example, on set, because it's this is for the IDs. IDs yeah. needs just to, to get just for a cue or yeah, something. It's not all that I can it's I can just... send them just music or something yeah. or whatever. So it's totally separate. We have eight different outputs from the Contar, so yeah. I can send different. And you're using G freeze? Is it G freeze? Yeah. So we're using Sennheiser. This is very French thing. A lot of people oh, are nice using uh, losing um, uh, French. Uh, uh -huh. I mean, it's German, but we like to use this mm. in France uh, all the time. So, well, everyone, this is yeah, Luke. So this is this is all my crew, yeah. the sound crew, Luke, Tom, Stefan, and Joss. So they have their um, own uh, system and um, the frequency is of course on the private uh, mm. transmitter, set up on the private transmitter. We also have this little speaker which is a remote mm. Speak Easy. Sorry, I need to yeah, <laughs> take this out. Nine volt powered thingy. Yeah, and this is also typically producers, right. uh, little speaker. Uh, sometimes they have, well, more people yeah. there and uh, they say do you have extra cans and then you do not have so yeah. okay let's put a little speaker because we are so far from the set yeah now i'm not gonna hear it yeah. so let's plug in here just one of the receiver mm. and well they just got yeah. sound yeah, and nine good. volts is so how easy. many receivers do you need to have on a show like uh, so Italian? we have basically 15 i think yeah. 15 20 15 mm. we have another box with some extras mm. but mainly here i think it's we have the name of the producer mark mm. kevin walsh mark aiden this yeah. is all the producers yeah. and we have some guests uh we have the 80s we have ridley we have here uh, janina which is ridley's wife we, uh, ridley's uh, yeah, Ridley's wife. Uh, we have Script Girl, we have Ellie, we have Yes. Yeah. You know, basically, everyone. Everyone yeah. ends up needing them, yeah. don't they? <laughs> exactly, yeah. So I think we've just got a few other little things to have a look at. Your time code and your charger bays over there. Because charging batteries, now everything's rechargeable batteries, right? No lithiums, yeah. everything's rechargeable. Yeah, well... It's oh, and, and, your, and your portable rig as well. This is the, my portable rig. Um, this is... The one I'm using, if I really need to go on handheld. Yeah. Uh, so electrosonic. Um, um, yeah, the rack. Um, rack. Yeah. Yeah. With I put here like two receiver. Th this system is also ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also he got the same setup from this one. So if I need to take that's out and if I have a problem with my mm. counter it's easy to switch mm -hmm. because every every settings are the same mm. except that I use that specific uh, mm. electrosonic uh, rack receiver and uh, but it's light it's practical it's mm. ready to go mm. so really, really handful and every camera and everything I, I noticed you've got these different markings so on the tentacle system which is so tiny and light the camera must love these it's, it's, it's absolutely the best system, I think, for time code. It's light, it's practical, mm. it's easy to go. Yeah. No need to have millions of different setups uh -huh. inside. Really need to be, you know, so, practical. So basically, every, every yeah. time we need time code, yeah. every device that needs time code, mm. we need uh, a box mm -hmm. for sure. So we never run, even for the time code, sometimes for the time codes, mm -hmm. 
the running with the internal generator. Yeah, yeah. No, we're going external generator and going so we're sure, uh -huh. I mean 90, 95% of the time yeah. that we're going to run with the same time cone. Mm. We did actually some camera test two days ago and uh, it was working fine. So, wow. So, uh, so yeah, you've got A, B, C, D, then you've got the A10s for, for specifically the A10 Specifically for the A10, we yeah. need to jam them yeah. every morning and sometimes during the day. So mm. specifically on the A10s, that mm. goes on, on set, mm. that goes to uh, the Maverick, into the Maverick uh, follow card. Just in case we need, we pop it out, yeah. take it and put on the A10s. Yeah, five camera all the time. We also have some spares, I think. I don't know where is the transmitter spare. So just to be sure that we have like between five and six body, camera body, yeah. just ready to go with the time code. And then we have a triple eight, which is the backup. And then yeah. we have Contar A, Cantar B, first recorder, second recorder. Nice. So every, yeah, every, and, we're and basically using all... 15, 15, I think it's something like 15 yeah. uh, time codes box, yes. And, and when you take them off in the evening, do they all get charged up in, in this? I see you've got a sort of charger system Oh, they're here. there, yeah. We have the different slates here. Yeah, well, it's a little bit messy, but it's working. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have the different uh, 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 USB mm. uh, distributor here just it's mainly because of the uh, tentacles mm. so if we have one here we have another one here mm. uh, we have uh, the power charger yeah. for the um, Lada and Varta batteries it, it, this is a double A's and triple A's and does this stay on the truck and, uh, and yes. get powered f over overnight, overnight so you don't have to take these overnight boxes overnight or during anyway. the day because yeah. we have something like 250 batteries yeah. which is a lot brand new that we mm. bought from the show mm -hmm. so it means that during the day we're charging a mm. bunch of these ones mm -hmm. and then we're using the other ones mm. and then the other day we're charging these ones mm. to so it's a sort of just a, a circle, you know, mm. so it's a circle for charging all, all of them during day. But mostly during the night, we just, I think we're, we can charge everything to be ready for the other day. Like, for example, the lithium, the other lithium battery will oh, yeah. be ready to go for the day after. And during the day, we're using this one, we're going to charge the one that mm. we used the day before. Right. Stefan, thank you very much for taking thank your you time so to much, show Simon. us. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a real pleasure, a real pleasure to be in London, beautiful city, <laughs> yes. beautiful and, uh, country. And I'm wishing you the best. And we're going to do another little video just mm -hmm. to, to talk more specifically about um, Hasaguchi mm -hmm. and Lucy. Yep. So we're going to break down in a little bit more detail on how you've used the kit in the past to achieve the great sound specific on location scenes. for specific scenes. Good. Great. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, well, hopefully you've seen so that video. Thanks Thank for you. watching. Thank you. So, this is what you're calling the sound dog box, right? Yeah, big dog box. Big it's a sound box. trailer, actually. Sound trailer, yeah. Nice, really nice, big space. Well, let's have a look. Yeah, please, after you. So, well, this is shelves. This is where we will put all the cases that we mm -hmm. We saw before different cases, different expendables and things. This is, well, three different shelves. That is the part for all the, the space for all the uh, trolleys different uh, trolleys, yeah. the Dante, my main trolley and also the Adicam. So yes, we're going to put it there and nice and strap it and that's it. And we have a nice desk. This is the place we use in the morning for prepping all the transmitters, mm -hmm. time codes, everything. Mm -hmm. Two people here sitting yeah. and, and we take the decision about which actor yeah. on, on the wires and wireless lab and the labs and everything. So this is, well, the, and we also do soldering yeah. here. Yeah. It's good. You've got a, it's, it's a, like a really spacious kind yes. of warm, dry yes. space to be organized. Yes. We have a heater, we <laughs> yeah. have, well, when it's hot, we have AC. Yeah, it's, it's, I think really for this kind of, you know, walking 10 hours continuous without stop, mm. it's, you need to have this kind of, you know, space mm. and mm. equipment just mm. to, well, be ready to yeah. go to the war. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right, I'm very jealous because mostly in TV and some film in the UK, we work out of a van 
and yeah. we, if we don't often get access to much larger yeah in units. France in France where well it's France is the same exactly yeah. the same like you but it's well we're talking about big budget yeah, film and, the big budget well, world. and we yeah. are actually uh, six in the sound crew sound mm. team we have six people in the sound team so well we need yeah. space yeah. otherwise it's just not possible you mm. know. okay shall we head back in let's go okay <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, good. Short, nice, yeah. dynamic, mm -hmm. good. No worries.